Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Equal Mining. Today I wanna to talk to you about NeoXA. We're gonna be going ahead and downloading a wallet. We're gonna install the wallet and get it set up. We'll go ahead and get Gminer and we'll be using Zpool. We'll use the software. We'll put the information in from Zpool and we will start mining on NeoXA. So first, just quickly about NeoXA, I wanna talk about the cards that I'm using and what I've been getting. So what is NeoXA? NeoXia? NeoXia? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I haven't pronounced it right yet, I doubt. Discovering decentralized gaming. Using decentralized blockchain technology, NeoXa is revolutionizing uh, the game industry. No longer play games for free, get rewarded for playing games and developing games. Why use NeoXa? NeoXa is a currency for investors, gamers, and gaming developers. NeoXa Proof of Game Tracker will be implemented on popular games such as Rust, Fortnite, Roblox, and more. I mean, Rust, if you haven't played, it's a pretty good game. Fortnite, I think we've all heard of. Uh, Roblox, if anybody wants to know anything about Roblox, just ask my son. And of course, they just had the one come out for Minecraft, which is pretty cool. It doesn't stop there. With blockchain assets, developers can implement Nexia assets into any game featured in the upcoming Nexia marketplace, which is really gonna be cool for them. And if they're able to get that off the ground, I think they have a chance of going a little ways. Of course, anything I talk about today isn't financial advice. Do what's best for your own pocket or pocketbook. But there may be a future involved in this. So before we get into the wallet and mining, I want to just talk about the cards that I'm using and you know why I'm doing this right now. I'm doing a little spec mining with the two cards that I have. Now, there are the RX 480 8GB cards, which are the two worst cards to do Kapow on because Kapow does more of a core intensive rather than memory. Uh, these are great on Ethereum uh, for the memory side of it. Uh, Ethereum is more memory uh, heavy. So these aren't the right cards, but I mine other things with these and they're the two worst cards that I have of the bunch. So I just use those a little spec mining, sometimes for a week or two weeks, sometimes for a month, and just been having a little fun while we're in this bear market and just kind of keeping things a little, little spiced up. <laughs> I'm sure people have like cards that I got like a, a six or eight card rig of like their garbage cards that they use for things like this. I've only got two, but. So let's go ahead and uh, first, let's say, why would, why would I even want to be doing this? And it's because when the beacon chain uh, merges, this will change uh, everything in 27 days when the merge comes through if it comes through which it does seem like it's closer and closer that it's more of a definite thing but i guess nothing is definite when you kind of talk about ethereum but when it does go uh here's the two rx 480s that i'm using and if we look down here's ethereum obviously number one at 93 cents number two is nexia which is kind of crazy I mean, the landscape is gonna change when Ethereum goes away. Different coins and, and tokens are going to be jumping up and down, left and right. Difficulty is gonna be like head and shoulders, you know, up and down like a mountain range. It's gonna be a little crazy. Um, I think uh, people are gonna be trying to figure out their spot while everybody, you know, kind of, I hate to say, but scrounges for what they can find to be the best and most profitable with rewards. But right now they are number two, so it was worth looking into, and that's why I started about two weeks ago doing this. Um, when we want to go ahead and take a look at the pools, we can see that new pool is number one. Uh, Minerpool.org is uh, in there as well, uh, you know, about half. But today I'm going to be using Zpool. I've been using Zpool for a little while. It is a good one to use. I like it. Uh, Zerg Pool also is very similar. Uh, almost almost identical when it comes to that. I have videos on both of those if you want to watch those. Today we'll be using Zpool. So let's go ahead and just get into this. Uh, you go right here and you click Create Wallet or you can go to Download, same page. And here you can download a Windows, Mac, Linux, or if you have Raspberry, you can go ahead and download a wallet for that as well. I downloaded the Windows version. And when I downloaded the Windows version, I installed the default settings and just let it install. When you do uh, go to the setup, it will give you a seed phrase, a passphrase. You're gonna to wanna to save that, write that down, keep that somewhere safe, you know the routine. If you lose this, there's nobody to email or call or ask on how to get your wallet back, your wallet is gone. So make sure you keep that safe and secure and don't share that with anybody. So once you have it installed, it'll look like this. This is what I've made in about two weeks now. And all you'll do is go to file and receiving address. In here, this will be blank. You'll just come and click new. A wallet will appear right here, uh, same as mine. I named mine EM for Euclid Mining, and that's my wallet address. I'll just go ahead and click copy for now because we'll use it in just a minute. So we'll click close, and there you go. That's that's the wallet. Uh, it will have to sync uh, with the chain, so that can take time. This is a relatively new coin that's uh, well, relatively new to launch. Excuse me. 
So uh, this one uh, doesn't take that long. Uh, the file size for this is not that big. It should only take a little while. I think my when I first did it, it's been a while since I did it, right, about three or four weeks ago when I first installed it. So it, it went pretty quick. Yours might take uh, three, four, five minutes, uh, but it shouldn't take that long. So anyway, there you go. So now you have your receiving address. Now what we got to do is we got to go ahead and see what we're going to, uh, what pool we're going to mine to. We're going to do ZPool today. So we're just going to go ahead and just click on ZPool bring us to a ZPool page. And we're just gonna scroll down till we come to this section here. Last time I was here, I was uh, spec mining a little curve uh, there. Um, I was doing the, um, uh, 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 what was I doing? Uh, Pulsar. And uh, that's on uh, curve hash. So uh, let's go ahead and find Kapow. And there it is right there. So, uh, the next one you'll see zap and we'll come to that in a second now we need our wallet address so we copied that before we're gonna hit control v and drop that in there so here's the two sections that people don't always understand exactly so uh, i'm gonna break this one down the currency is what you want to be paid out in you want to be paid out in bitcoin or litecoin or, or anything that's in here uh pirate uh, I think there's R is in there, uh, Dogecoin, Flux. You can choose all kinds of different things. Um, we're going to be doing uh, NeoXa, so we're going to choose that. So that's what we want to be paid out in. We're going to be mining anything on Kapow algorithm. So Zap, Zap, what it'll do is that you can choose what you want to mine. So if you want to mine a specific coin, uh, you can. But remember that if there's something more profitable, if Ravencoin, say, went above that and it was more profitable for half the day, then you would still be mining a less profitable coin. So by leaving Zap blank, you'll be mining the most profitable coin uh, on Kapow. If you drop this down and you say choose uh, these two, or suppose you just wanted to mine Ravencoin, you can mine Ravencoin, but be paid out in NeoXa. So, it just depends on how you want to do that. Again, if you just leave this blank, then it'll mine the most profitable paying you out in the EXA. If you choose any one of these or all of these, because these are the four that are available that it'll be scanning through, you can choose them. Uh, it would be the same as not choosing any of them and leaving it blank. Uh, this is really if you just want to mine one particular thing. For instance, let's say you were going to do Ravencoin, you were going to do solo mining. Uh, Zpool doesn't have solo mining, uh, solo, mi solo mining, solo mining for NeoXa, uh, but that's more likely where you would be using this in. So anyway, we're going to leave it blank. Um, it really doesn't matter. I think in my miner that I have set up that I'm going to show you, I think I do have everything checked, uh, but it really doesn't matter in the end. So here we are right here. We got that set up. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to get a miner. So we are going to go ahead and use um, Gminer. And any of the websites I talk about today, I will have a link in the description below so you can download Gminer and download whatever you may need uh, or go to the website so that you can download these things. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my Gminer folder open and bring that over for you. So uh, I don't need that one. I'm going to redo that one. So right now I just have the, uh, we're going to be doing it on Kapow, which would be the similar to the Ravencoin. So we're going to use the Ravencoin one right there, but we're going to make our own. So all I did was as I right clicked on it and I copy and then just right click down here and paste it. And now I've got a copy of it that I can uh, mess with. And if I screw it up by any reason, I could delete it and I still have the original. That's what I had done here and then just renamed it when I knew it was working. But for this one, we'll go ahead and right click on it and edit. And here it is here. And then we'll go on the one that I have and we will bring that one up as well. So we can see them both uh, there. And we'll bring that one down here. And we'll drop that. So here we are. We can see our information here that we're going to be using. So uh, this is the default one and this is the one I have. So all we would do is we wouldn't copy the stratum plus TCP colon slash slash. We would just take from Kapow. Uh, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do region. So let's go ahead and hit North America there. Whoops. All right. Back to the papers. Okay. So here we are right here. Now we're good. So we would take kapow.na.mine.zpool.ca colon 1325. As you can see, I've got it right here. So we leave it this the way it is. And all we change is this section right here. So we will take that section and we will put this in from Kapow. And you know what? We'll just do it together and I'll just redo this one so it'll be just like the other one I have. 
So this is what we're going to remove. And we're going to put in exactly what we have right here. The next is going to be the username. The username is going to be right here. Over um, here is the default wallet that came with Gminer. And this is my wallet. So all I did again right here is I just went ahead and for my username, I just went ahead and highlighted it and control C for copy. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight it and control V. And there it is. Now, on here, it does require the password. Now, the password is what you're being paid out in. So that's how you know what it is. So I'm being paid out in the Alexia. Now, if I wanted to mine only a specific coin, like say Raven coin, because it was so much more profitable, uh, but I just wanted to stack Neoexa, uh, so I would be mining Ravencoin, let's say, or I wanted to mine that because it was so much more profitable, that I would leave Ravencoin checked. And then you would see here, C equals Neoexia, which is my payout, how much, what I'm going to be paid out. And then this is the coin that I'm going to mine. But again, if I just leave it blank, it will mine all the coins that are available and pick the best, the best one. So I will highlight C equals Neox and copy. And I bring them both up again. And then what I'll need to do is I'll need to have here, I'll go over here and we'll go space P-A-S-S. -S, oops, that's in caps. And then uh, space. And then we're going to put what we have here. So control V. And then again, down this one, I do have, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I do have these in here, but <clears throat> they're really unnecessary to have them because if I leave it blank, it's the same as saying do all of them. So it's, uh, it's sort of redundant. And that's supposed to be all on one line. So you leave it like that. So uh, again, your password is the coin you're, or token you're being paid out in. And then anything after that is what you want to mine. Uh, blank means you're mining anything available on the Kapow. Uh, so anyway, there you go. So we can go ahead and hit X here. Uh, you know, we don't have to save that because um, it's just our one let's go ahead and bring up the software uh, miners and here's mine and i'll pull that across and we'll let that get started so you know really while this boots up and just uh, show you that it's going I hope the video helped, and if it did, definitely give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Any of the websites I used today, I'll have links in the description below. Here it goes, it's starting up now. And, you know, while that's starting up, you know, realistically, it's it's going to come down to, you know, what to mine. I've de been debating on moving some of my other uh, GPUs over to other coins for the next um, 27 days. And just doing a little heavier spec mining. Uh, it'd be the ultimate spec mining for me, considering I'd be moving pretty much uh, my you know, my farm over, uh, I got about a gig and uh, I've debated on what I would do, you know, uh, look, there's, you know, these basically four coins uh, tokens up here. And I've debated on splitting each rig into two of them, you know, having uh, one rig, uh, four cards and four cards and the other uh, 3060 Ti, four cards and four cards kind of a thing. And just letting those go for the next month, just eating the electric again, it's not financial advice. It's just, you know, thought. Uh, and here it is. So this is up and running. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what the future holds in, in another month. We're going to see if it goes through or if it doesn't go through, and, uh, and we'll catch up with it then. But for the time being, I am mining. My rewards have not been that great, especially with these cards. They do not hash at even where they really should be um, for even Ethereum. So uh, I am getting even lesser rewards. As you saw, I had about 10,000, and it's been about two weeks for me. So... Uh, yeah, we'll see where we'll see where it goes. We'll see where we end up. Look, I appreciate you checking in. If you want to subscribe, definitely hit the button. It's over there. If you want to watch any of my other videos, you know it. I'll have one right up over there. I'll see you all around. Thanks again.